Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everyone, it's R. Malieri on behalf of LockerGnome.com, and I'm back with another installment in the iOS Jailbreak series where we cover some of the coolest mods and add-ons for your phone if it's jailbroken. This week we're covering a really cool add-on called Lock Info. Uh, as you guys already know, I'm a big proponent of uh, doing things easier and uh, having a lot of convenience when I use my devices. And Lock Info is another mod that will allow you to do things a lot more quickly, efficiently, and conveniently. So essentially what it allows you to do is get uh, easy access to a lot of information straight from your lock screen. Uh, so you don't have to unlock, go into all these different apps, look for all this different uh, information. You can access it all right from the lock screen of your phone, uh, along with many other features. So you go to your settings app, uh, you can see it's there on the very top here. We're going to go ahead and go in there. And uh, with lock info, all the different little things that you can see on your home screen, uh, on your lock screen, are uh, activated through the plugins. So if you go to the plugins, you see uh, some of the different ones that you can get. Uh, right now I have the calendar plugin. Uh, I have this uh, HTC plugin for uh, weather and time. It's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's Android or whatever. But still, it's really cool. And uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like. I can see my email that comes through, um, all different types of push notifications, phone calls, voice voicemails, SMS texts. Um, the other thing that's really awesome that I like is Things. If you use the Getting Things Done application called Things on your iPad, iPhone, or your Mac, um, this will allow you to access all of your to-dos right from the lock screen. And of course, uh, the killer app, Twitter. You can see tweets, respond to tweets, all right from your lock screen. So. Each one of these plugins uh, has its own set of uh, configurations, which you can play with. Uh, I'm not going to go into it too much, but you can see the Twitter one, for example. You can turn it on and off on the lock screen, um, and uh, you know how many tweets you want it to show you. Mine's set to 20. Uh, how fast it refreshes, showing your friends, your mentions, direct messages, uh, stuff like that. So each one of these plugins, you can go ahead and configure and stuff like that. So um, that's the plugins, but then you know there's a ton of other configurations you can make uh, as far as the the extension itself, uh, the general settings for it. You know how big the font is, the header, scrolling, you know collapsible sections, highlighted, collapsed, blah 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 blah. So I like hands-on, and I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, firsthand. I'm gonna go ahead and re-enable it there, and we'll go ahead and enter the lock screen show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to lock my phone and uh, you can see when I uh, turn it back on uh, I have all these widgets right here uh, straight up from the lock screen. I'm not doing anything uh, but accessing them. When you tap on them they uh, expand and so for example I can see the time, I can see the weather and the forecast for our area and my some of my to do's here are through things uh, I can see what I have next and then, of course, uh, um, Twitter and our friend Chris is right there. Uh, he's got his, the very first post there for uh, for the Twitter uh, lock screen. So I can scroll through the last 20 tweets like I had it set. I can go ahead and I can respond to Chris. Um, uh, doing, you know, we're doing a a uh, video for this week. So and. <laughs> and this tweet is in it so we'll tell him about that and I'm doing this all straight from my lock screen guys uh, without going anywhere so I just wrote that up and boom sent it straight from my lock screen how awesome is that so uh, if you don't want to respond to Chris and you just want to write your own just go ahead and hit compose you can start a tweet straight from scratch again this is all while we're still in the lock screen guys so um, go ahead and slide to unlock and you're right back home. The other cool feature it has is you can you can have this notification system pop up uh, while you're in your iPhone just by holding the uh, the uh, status bar at the top. So if I hold it down, you see it drops it down, and and it's called like a window shade or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but you can look it up. It lets you to uh, access those uh, features just by holding the status bar at the top. So 
super easy access to uh, quick notifications, really cool notification system. Uh, if I did have emails coming in or missed phone calls or whatever, those would also show up in the status bar in the form of, you know, an envelope or a little bell that, that looks like it's uh, ringing for the voicemail or whatever. So, again, lock my phone, and there it is. I've got it all. Check the weather. See what I got to do, and go ahead and check out my tweets. So there you have it, guys. Uh, again, that is called Lock Info for your jailbroken iPhone. You can find it in the Cydia App Store. Uh, this has been a video on behalf of LockerGnome.com by R. Malieri. Head on over to LockerGnome and check out all the latest videos on things you can do, awesome things on technology, tips, tricks, how-tos, you name it. It's all at LockerGnome.com. Uh, and if you'd like to find out more about me and follow me on Twitter, I can be found at R Malieri, and also um, you can check me out on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash R Malieri. Stay tuned for our continuing iOS jailbreak series. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next review. See you later.